In this video, we are exploring the new multiplayer battle group for Wehrmacht, named Italian Coastal. And this is co community expert Tyra up here to break it down for you. Italian Coastal has two new types of bunker, on top of abilities centered around constructing bunkers rapidly and combat bonuses for fighting close to them. There are also several types of artillery, making it a suitable battle group for a defensively minded player. Examining the Coastal Forces half of the battle group first, you can immediately select the new Coastal Reserves squad. They are a call-in, costing 270 manpower and 7 population. Coastal Reserves are a 6-man squad with 80 health each and are very cheap to reinforce at just 20 manpower per model. They have the default territory capture rate, so you may want to combine them with a fast capping unit like the Kettenkrad. Coastal Reserves have a passive bonus, indicated by this icon, improving their accuracy and rate of fire when close to a bunker or firing from cover. But in return, they have very poor performance while firing on the move. With that bonus active, Coastal Reserves have a moderate advantage over infantry sections close range, but sections have a narrow advantage over them long range. Riflemen have a moderate advantage over Coastal Reserves close range, but then lose to Coastal Reserves by a similar margin long range. Coastal Reserves have the full array of construction options with a 50% construction rate bonus. They can also repair buildings at the same speed as Pioneers, but are unable to repair vehicles. And finally, they have another passive that grants a free reinforcement from being close to a bunker once every 40 seconds, indicated by this timer. Next, down the Coastal Forces tree, is the artillery officer. A player can only have one officer on the field at a time and it is a 4 man squad that costs 24 manpower to reinforce. The officer is focused around supporting your units and structures with his wide array of abilities, but is relatively weak in combat alone, losing badly to riflemen at both close and long range. When you activate the artillery overwatch ability, light shells from off map fall into the target area. They come in at a slow pace, but continue to fall until you cancel the order, or the officer gets pinned. It has a short cooldown, making it a good counter to units and garrisons and team weapons, though the range is shortened when the officer is suppressed. Activating focus supervision on a building speeds up the unit production from it, or upgrades to it by 50%. It also improves the rate of fire of defensive structures. The officer's supervised sector is a passive buff that applies to infantry and emplacements that are in the same territory sector. It also improves as the officer climbs in veterancy. And the officer benefits from support veterancy, making it easier for him to climb the ranks. The VET1 ability Inspire Combatants is a 25 range, 20 second duration aura that buffs the accuracy and rate of fire of everything that is emplacements, infantry, vehicles and your teammates units as well. The final tier in Coastal Forces gives you the choice between Coastal Wall and the Opiche Howitzer. Coastal Wall decreases the cost of defences and mines by 35%. A great option if your emplacements are being hammered by the enemy and you need to rebuild. If you select the Opiche Howitzer, you can construct it for 400 manpower and 40 fuel. It fires three heavy shells that have higher damage and a larger AoE compared to the British BL 5.5. However, the Obiche has a slow rate of fire and a long cooldown. So, where the Obiche really shines is when you buff it with the artillery officer, improving its rate of fire and cooldown. Then, get it to Vent 1 where it gains two extra shells from being close to a bunker. With those buffs, the Obiche is an absolute powerhouse. Switching over to the heavy fortifications half of the battle group, initially you have the choice between designate defensive line and support bunkers. For 60 munitions, you can activate designate defensive line on one of your bunkers, or you can also activate it on a connected friendly territory point. It provides a buff to infantry in the surrounding area meaning they take 25% less damage. Also, if the infantry has been out of combat for 6 seconds, they will start healing at a fast rate. 
Designate Defensive Line covers a large area with a 35 range radius and is good for team games since the buff also applies to your allies infantry as well. And Designate Defensive Line remains active until you lose control of the territory point, the bunker is destroyed, or you activate it on a new point offering long lasting value for its low cost. The other branch on the first stage of heavy fortifications is support bunkers. This offers the ability to construct two new types of bunker, the command bunker and the anti-tank bunker. Both cost 200 manpower and 15 fuel. You can activate a forward retreat point on the command bunker, so it offers better fuel presence with your infantry. However, the command bunker does not offer reinforcement or healing, so you may want to combine it with a medic bunker. The command bunker also buffs nearby bunkers to take 30% less damage, and while this doesn't apply to the command bunker itself, in return it has extra health compared to other bunkers. The anti-tank bunker is basically a pack 40 shielded inside a bunker. It cannot rotate outside of this firing arc, so be careful how you place it. You can also upgrade a bunker to the anti-tank bunker for 60 munitions. A good alternative if you want to save fuel and manpower. But you cannot upgrade a bunker to a command bunker. Also be aware that none of the bunkers have a population cost which is helpful when you have a very large army close to the population limit. Midway down heavy fortifications is the choice between designated artillery overwatch and rapid fortifications. Costing 80 munitions, you activate designated artillery overwatch on a bunker, and for the next 50 seconds, enemies that are in a 60 range radius of the bunker and in vision will be targeted by off-map artillery. The shells are best against infantry and team weapons, but can still do decent damage to a stationary medium tank. Designated artillery overwatch only targets one unit at a time. However, the delay between a unit being targeted and the shells falling is very low. This makes it difficult to dodge with infantry, especially if they are suppressed, but easy to avoid with a moving vehicle. The time between each volley of shells is short, so this makes it dangerous for units that remain in its range, and good for defusing an enemy's push on the designated bunker. Rapid Fortifications auto-constructs a bunker at the selected position. The bunker is completed in just 14 seconds, which is under half the time it takes a pioneer to build one. Rapid Fortifications is also 25 manpower cheaper than building a bunker normally. Do be aware there are limitations on where you can start the construction of a bunker. You need vision of the area and it has to be in connected friendly territory, both with this ability or when constructing with a squad. The final two options on the heavy fortification side are Call the Reserves and Bulwark. Call the Reserves costs 125 munitions and lasts for 45 seconds. During that time, infantry and team weapons within 25 range of a bunker get a 30% received accuracy bonus and one free reinforcement every 10 seconds. The reinforcement function still applies even if the bunker is in enemy territory, but these bonuses do not apply to your teammates units and they do not trigger from your default base bunkers. Bulwark gives all of your bunkers 120 more health and you can tell Bulwark is activated from the extra sandbags that appear in front of the bunker. Also, if a bunker gets damaged, once it has been out of combat for 8 seconds, it will start to repair itself. Note that even though concrete bunkers have enough armour to take no damage from most small arms fire, it will still prevent the repairs from kicking in. And these bonuses do not apply to the default base bunkers. One final thing to note is that the 1.40 patch has also introduced a new bonus to units that garrison constructed defences like bunkers. This bonus is not exclusive to the Italian Coastal Battle Group, but Italian Coastal offers the most chances to take advantage of it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to visit companyofheroes.com for more, 
and we'll see you on the battlefield.